Hey guys, welcome to the 2.exe for the Seesaw CTF Reverse Engineering Challenge. Let's load up the 2.exe and get started. As you can see, we're, we're deep within the file already with the first call as the first instruction. Same as the first one, there's no packing or compression used on the code. So we can actually just browse around through the code looking for any interesting calls. Like the first one, if we cruise up the top, we have a couple of message box pop-ups. As you can read from the caption labeled within each of the message boxes, you can actually figure out which one they're meant to be doing. So this last one here, the third one, congratulations, the flag is, with a question mark behind it, basically being loaded here, put into this, and then displayed through the message box. Again, the, the exit process call is done at the end, and the, the file will exit. Same as this one here. This, what the fuck, don't be debugging me. Well, this one will exit too if you actually get to this message box. So like the very first one though, we have a very simple task. This is the one that's gonna pop up first when you actually go to reverse things. So again, we can create this with a jump. And we actually jump straight down to this one here. So we got 004013A7. Assemble, close, and run. Congratulations, the flag is 2291 and so on. That's a very, very easy one to for us to, to challenge. So let's jump quickly to the third one. Third one is of, of a similar nature as the first one. Entry point is deep within the file. And above it, unencoded, all compressed again, are the actual calls to the message boxes. The interesting here though is we have jumps that sort of rearrange a lot of the function calls. There's no actual exit processes that are around. So we can cruise around, have a look, have a look at what the code has, and there's no other message boxes available. So as we look through, again, we see, we see that there's a, a message box here for all these unfamiliar faces. And below it is the message box for the congratulations with the hands you the flag. Same again as all the other challenges so far. The very first push zero, which is putting the basically the, the options for the message box into the stack, we replace with a jump. So zero zero four zero and we find the offset over here. So one eight uh, 5e and close and we run congratulations the flag is Alex and Ryan I know you cheated let's see how we're going for time we've got three minutes done the file videos that I'm using to actually record this only take five minutes at a time so I'm quite limited but we can jump straight to the fourth one we've got a couple minutes left Again, we jump into the fourth one, and the code starts around the middle the same. And again, same format was used for all these binaries. So no compression, and if we scroll up, we get the message boxes. The trick on this one is though, we have all these unfamiliar faces, but we also have a don't be debugging me with inside of it. Same again, we can replace this last push. to jump directly where we want it to. So basically these 18 E6. And we run. Congratulations, the flag is Chipotle away. That's a very, the first three of the, well, the first four of these challenges, I guess, being the, with the first video, are very simple with basically just hijacking the, the a jump from within message boxes so that we skip one message box to redirect to another. Quite a simple method. The next challenges though are a little bit more tricky as they involve a lot of debugging and anti-debugging tricks. Nothing fancy but enough to, to stop most simple sort of reverse engineers who are just new at it. So I'll stop this one where it is and we'll pick up the next video soon. Thanks.